Hey everybody, it's your boy LJ and this is Worship is Life. Well, worship is not a set list, but it is a heart posture and a way that we want to live for our Christ. And I'm lit right now. I'm lit. Earlier, I did a video and I feel like doing another one right now. So I feel like two for one special today. So let's get it. So we're talking about intimacy with God. We're talking about intimacy with God. And today we're talking about trust. That is the third thing with intimacy, true intimacy with God is trust. We have to trust God. And before we even get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so we can push this out and other people can learn how to become intimate with God. And they can also learn that worship is not a set list, but it is a heart posture in a way that we want to live for God. So people can learn to worship God in every aspect of their lives not just singing not just preaching not just teaching but how they treat people and how they love so i'm excited let's get into it all right scripture for today luke 22:42. father if you are willing take this cup from me yet not my will but yours be done now we hear that and we're like whoa what is that what does that have to do with anything what does that have to do with trusting in this scripture, this is Jesus before he even gets to the cross. The greatest, one of the greatest things about Jesus is he was fully man and fully God at the same time. 100% man, 100% God, and he went through all the temptations, all the struggles that we've gone, that we're going through now in our lives. And isn't it great that we have a savior? Uh, a leader a great shepherd that has gone through the things that we've gone through and he has did not fail he did not succumb to temptation he never gave up and he he did what his purpose was on earth and he was in true intimacy with god and in this moment jesus was saying to god that he didn't really want to go to the cross but he trusted in his father to know that his will is greater and way better than our own human desires jesus trusted his father god so much that he said if giving up my life for all these people is what you want me to do i'm gonna do it god if it's if you are willing take this cup but yet not my will but your will and as believers we have to learn that to truly trust God, we have to know that if the things that we pray for, if the things that we want in our life don't come to pass, it's because that God has something greater and God knows better because sometimes the things that we want isn't really good for us. And it's it's truly amazing because that's, that's a part of my testimony. See, I pray to God, God, please let me stay in Mississippi. Please let me, please let me just stay in Mississippi. Let me stay in my hometown. And God had different plans. God said, no, you're going to Germany. Get on that plane. Stop tripping. I know what's best for you. So because I just said, all right, cool. Trust in God. And I trusted in God in that process. I truly saw how great and how powerful and how better his will was for me than my own will. You know, I came here to Germany and I... I truly surrendered my life to him when I got here. I truly went through some trials and some circumstances to where it's like, hey, I'm showing you how great I am. If you were still back at home, you'll still be doing all the dumb stuff that you used to do. But I had to take you out of that situation for my good, for, for my will to be done, for God's will to be done. And because I truly decided to trust in him in that, everything in my life now has become 10 times better, you know? And it's so amazing to know that when we trust in God, we deny our independence. See, as believers, we, we're in this world, we're, we're so caught up in being independent and doing things on our own. But we have to realize that we are interdependent people. We are interdependent. We are dependent on God. And we're not dependent on things of this world, not how much money we have, how much how people treat us, how 
things in our life may go into different circumstances. We're not dependent on those things, but we're dependent on God because he is faithful. He is true and he, he is consistent and he has never failed. And I, I keep hearing, I, keep, I love this song by Elevation Worship called I Trust in God because he's never failed and he, why would he start now? You know what I'm saying? Like he's never failed. Like God, trusting in God is probably the easiest cap. I'm calling cap on myself. Trusting in God is not even the easiest thing. It's not. Let's be real. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. It's not. But when you truly do trust in God, it makes a world of a difference. Think about people in the Bible. Think about Noah. Noah's like, yo, all right, dude, I'm going to trust you. It ain't raining yet, but I'm going to build this ark. Moses, all right, I'm going to trust you. Now, when I go up there to fear, I'm going to start stuttering and stuff. I need you to have my back. <laughs> Think about Daniel. Daniel, okay, God, I trust you that whatever I go through in my life, that even if I go into a lion's den, I'm still going to have my trust and my faith in you. And even with Jesus, God, I'm going to trust in you. Father, I'm going to trust in you. Even if you want me to go on the old rugged cross to die for the sins of people that want to kill me. <sighs> Trusting in God isn't always easy, but trust me, it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, so if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. I love y'all. And these were my three T's of true intimacy with God. And so I'll see y'all next week on the next series that we're going to start. I'm thinking holy habits. All right. I'll catch y'all later. Keep the worship.